In this video, you will learn how to perform linearity studies on the ABL90 Flex Plus Analyzer. Linearity studies verify analyzer reportable ranges. To complete the linearity studies on the ABL90 Flex Plus, external ampoules of aqueous solution with known ranges are used to test the upper and lower limits of each reported parameter. At the end of the studies, your medical director should evaluate the results to decide whether to adjust analyzer and lab information system reportable ranges. The frequency of linearity studies should follow regulatory guidelines, most commonly every six months and after every major maintenance. You will need Radiometer's VKR5 Linearity Kit and Radiometer's Microsoft Excel Linearity Form Template to complete the linearity studies. You will also need the QualiCheck Opener Adapter Tool and a thermometer. The VKR5 kit should be stored in the refrigerator, but should be removed from the refrigerator and stored at a constant temperature, 18 to 32 degrees Celsius, for five hours prior to measuring. It is preferred to remove the VKR5 kit from the fridge the night before measuring the ampoules. The VKR5 kit should not be left out of the fridge more than 48 hours. Once the VKR5 kit is removed from the refrigerator, it should sit next to a thermometer so that you know the temperature of the VKR5 kit once it is time to perform the studies. The first step in the process is to populate the Microsoft Excel Linearity Form Template. Select the tab titled LCR Form and populate VKR5 kit information, lot number, sample date, parameter ranges, etc. Be sure to populate temperature corrected ranges for pH, PO2, and PCO2 based on the room temp of where the VKR5 kit was stored. Be sure to use ranges for the ABL90 and not the stated ranges for the ABL80. Also, be sure to use appropriate units of measure, notably for ionized calcium, glucose, and lactate. Conversions for units of measure are stated on the VKR5 kit package insert. If repression and suppression are enabled, disable them before measuring the linearity VKR5 kit. Be sure to re-enable after running the VKR5 kit. Disabling and re-enabling of repression and suppression of the parameters can be performed by tapping Menu, Utilities, Setup, General Setup, Parameters and Input, Parameters. You will have to highlight and edit each parameter to disable repression and suppression. The next step is to measure the ampoules found within the VKR5 kit. There are four rows of four ampoules, range plus level one, level two, level three, and high metabolite QualiCheck level one. The high metabolite QualiCheck level one is only used if glucose results are not obtained from the range plus level three. Only three ampoules of each level are required. A fourth ampoule for each level is included in the VKR5 kit should any issues occur when measuring the first three ampoules. It is best to measure one ampoule of each level, confirm parameters are within range, and then proceed to measure the remaining ampoules. To prepare each ampoule for measurement, remove the ampoule from the VKR5 kit box. Place the ampoule between the thumb and index finger to avoid changing the ampoule's internal temperature, and shake the ampoule vigorously for 15 seconds. Hold the ampoule upright and flick the ampoule until there is no liquid in the top of the ampoule and there are no air bubbles in the liquid. Using the QualiCheck opener adapter, crack off the top of the ampoule and place the ampoule into the dedicated cradle that will serve as the adapter between the ampoule and the analyzer's inlet. To maintain the reliability of blood gas parameters, you must measure the ampoule immediately after opening. The adapter must be used in order to avoid damaging the analyzer's inlet gasket. Tap the syringe button on the home screen of the ABL90 Flex Plus. 
the inlet will open. Then tap the Other Modes button. Select the Cal Verification button from the menu of panels on the right side of the screen. Insert the QualiCheck opener adapter with the ampoule in the cradle into the inlet by pressing upwards and holding for five seconds as the analyzer aspirates the linearity material. As the sample is being processed, populate the patient ID field with a unique identifier such as VKL1 Run1. Do not adjust the temperature field on the analyzer screen. Once the ABL90 Flex Plus provides results for the linearity sample, check the values of each parameter against the control that you populated in the Microsoft Excel linearity form template. It is critical that each result falls within its control range. If the result for a parameter falls outside of its control range for more than one ampoule, discontinue the linearity study and contact radiometer technical support for further guidance. Populate results for each linearity ampoule into the LCR form tab of the Microsoft Excel linearity form template. Subsequent tabs will autofill. The observed range cells, D33, D34, of each parameter tab are the ranges generated based on the VKR5 kit results. You can print the entire Excel workbook for physical data storage. Once you have completed measuring the VKR5 kit, which should be a minimum of nine ampoules, re-enable repression and suppression of each parameter on the ABL90 Flex Plus. Review the linearity study results with your medical director and determine whether to update reportable ranges in the ABL90 Flex Plus and your lab information system. You have now learned how to perform linearity studies on the ABL90 Flex Plus Analyzer.